Welcome back everyone to episode 13 of Dungeons Dragons and Space Shuttles. Um, so I actually did a little live stream uh, yesterday. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be yesterday when this is going up. Um, and uh, honestly, I didn't do much. I started off just to organizing um, some of my storage. Uh, specifically, I made some basic drawers. Uh, I also upgraded my uh, my backpack because that was part of the the quest line here. Uh, let me just get to that over here. Yeah, so I did the uncommon backpack. I just to unlock the basic drawers, and then I also did the uh, filter module because I needed the upgrade. And uh, yeah, so we did that, um, and I put in whatever I I felt that we have more than a stack of into the crate so far um there might be a couple of things here and there missing and i also created a bunch of other small storage crates and kind of moved them around here and there are a couple of them that are empty yeah these two over here um in case we do need them but yeah um that's what i did there i also created this storage scanner uh someone in, actually commented on the last episode about it and like I, I knew that it was a thing um but i didn't realize that it was super simple to make uh by super simple i mean eh, I, I guess it's fairly simple just just a few steps <laughs> but uh, we could have done this uh a, a couple episodes ago for sure um now what i didn't realize about this is you can actually attach it to a storage tablet which essentially you can carry around you anywhere and you can access what are the storage um, from from pretty much anywhere. I think it's even cross dimensional to be honest. Um, however, yeah, you can see here with this storage control module and the storage tablet, you can, you can pretty much access it. Um, but to make this, there's a few things that were missing, specifically the Enderium. Now, we, we just haven't got to that point yet. Although we can probably make some, um, but I think the other piece is, I think, was it the wireless RS transmitter? Yeah, the car sign uh, we're missing here. Um, and so this is uh, part of the Tinker's Alloys, but I think you find this. Yeah, here you go. You find the ore. I think I've seen some, but I haven't been able to mine it. Uh, so we got to upgrade our mining gear. Um, so right now we're at mining level obsidian. I think the next one is is cobalt. So if I do level cobalt right here, I believe the next level is cobalt, and the way we get this would be going through aluminum or aluminite. Al alumite, alumite. Yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> So Alumite or Osgalaz, I think might also be a, an option here because um, we have Obsidian. We find Glowstone. Not sure if we can do this just yet. I think I did see a quest for it, so we might be able to do it. So another thing I did during the stream was I started to craft some of the alloys um, and I didn't realize there were so many alloys. Uh, if you go to the quest here and head over to the Tinker's T2. Um, so Boron, we already had uh, this Tiberium. Um, Tiber yeah, Tiberium. We actually found a bunch in the Nether. Yeah, here we go. If you explore the Nether, you find some. So we have a bunch of those as well. Uh, that's actually pretty common. And then from there, I also had some Basalt. Um, so for basalt, you'll find this near this white basalt in lava lakes underground. However, if you have the basalt essence, um, you can you can craft it with that as well. And so this basalt and this basalt are different. You can see that this makes 18, this makes two. But the seeds themselves can be made with either basalt. So if you can find some regular basalt, you can just make the seeds and then you can have um, a limited of, of both, I guess. But this one is a little little rarer to get, so it's good if you have seeds for it. And then from there, we also started doing the Feral Baron over here. Um, so this was, I think, a steel and some Baron. So we had some of that. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. 
and we also did the lithium we had and the tough alloy we just made as well um, so the tough alloy is lithium and the uh, ferrobarium that we had that we made earlier so um, the next steps here would be to get to this shibichi alloy I'm not sure how to <laughs> how to pronounce it <laughs> um, but from my understanding it looks like yeah yeah okay so it's just one silver and three mana steel so that shouldn't be too bad either um, we can definitely do that and yeah I, I guess we can go ahead and get that done here so we need one what was it one silver and three mana steel I'm gonna craft two sets and hopefully that's enough in the induction smelter I believe um, just in case I'm gonna go make some more mana steel here all right so we have some mana steel um, and we have the shi whatever ingot shibichi what is it shibuchi I don't know <laughs> uh, I think we need a 10 in total so we need a little bit more get one more um, silver here and let that go all right so we have the shibichi alloy <laughs> I, I still don't know how to say that I'm definitely gonna butcher it um, so we got that done we got 10 of 10 and we can actually we get five more we get a CPU core oh wow okay okay this is actually good um, I was looking into RF controls I might actually play around with it a little bit more then we'll see we'll see um, and from here it wants us to make some signalum so signalum it should be pretty easy to do I think it's actually doable already it's uh, molten oil constantin and so that's nickel and copper and then some destabilized redstone but I think I could just put redstone in the uh, um, in the alloy stuff what's it called in the smeltery here yeah I can just dump some some redstone in there to make the destabilized redstone so okay so let's see we need 20 of these and it takes 301 ingots of Constantin to make 432 that's a odd number uh okay i guess i'll make a block in in three of those we'll see we'll see here so we just got the last bit of signalum that we need for the quest there we go um and we can go ahead and claim that it gives us 10 signalum flux ducts which is nice um we're probably gonna use that soon but that i, I think that's a good reward there uh, and then it wants us to make some tin silver alloy What what is this is it just tin and silver okay uh okay yeah sure i can do that <laughs> uh so silver and some tin and that is in the sorry in the induction smelter all right so i got the tin silver alloy now that should complete the quest there we go um and we can claim I guess we get all of that yeah so the hard carbon alloy is the next thing we gotta do here and we actually did this a couple episodes ago and we did it through the smeltery however looking at the recipes here it might be beneficial to just do it through the induction smelter because it gives us some essence chance um, now the graphite I think can also be done through there I think there I think we might have to just pulverize or oh, I guess get this graphite dust right here which can be done with uh, the induction sorry the pulverized coal and gravel and if we put it in the induction smelter we have a chance to get some coal essence I think that's a that's something we could definitely do here and pulverized coal is just pulverizer right yeah so let's go ahead and, and get that going so let's pulverize some coal not sure I think we needed a bit of this maybe 20 get that going there so as for the diamonds I am uh, I do have 23 of them so 
could go ahead and do that. You need 10, I believe it was. Or, you know what? Let me double check the recipe here. Okay, we need we need five. So we just, uh, yeah, so one diamond makes two. And the quest requires ten. So we just need five diamonds. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Um, this energized glowstone. Where did we get? I guess this was a reward. Can we use this for anything? We can alloy it to lumium with some tin and some silver. How do you make the energized glowstone itself, though? Because that's gonna be useful. Oh, is it just glow glowstone dust inside? Oh, okay. So that's actually good. Um, but for now, let's get this pulverized dust here. Should be almost done. Sorry, pulverized coal. Alright, so we have the pulverized coal. And I think we just had to smelt that? No. Oh, okay. Put in the induction smelter with the gravel. We need some gravel here. Let that go for a little bit. Uh, so while that goes, let's check out the other quest here. So the next thing is dilithium. Um, so dilithium looks like it says you can find it where there's lots of sand or water. I think that pretty much means uh, over. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anywhere in a desert or ocean biome underwater of course um so i don't know if that counts if it's a red desert because i believe that's all we have near us um let me see here i actually died on stream <laughs> uh let me turn this off um oh i guess there's a desert here okay yeah because i knew about this red desert i couldn't remember of that this desert but this close i thought it was only this one here which is still not that far away it's where the um that one uh village that we found last time was so i guess we can head that way and then go underground it looks like it said under 40. so we're gonna have to do that because i definitely don't have any dilithium at all um a lithium dust. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It says silk touch needed. Oh. Interesting. It doesn't say that here. Looks like we can either go ahead and find the dilithium. Is it dilithium crystal? Yeah, this stuff right here. Um, underground through this dilithium arm, but it looks like it needs silk touch, which we don't have. Or we can create it using an alloy uh, using some lithium, some redstone, and some fluorite water. However, the fluorite water, not sure how to get that. Okay, what, what is this? Living dust? Living root? So that's something from the Twilight Forest, which we don't have. So I guess we can maybe go to the Twilight Forest and get that instead. Or see if we can somehow make some Silk Touch. Um, I'll look into that, but I think we have the graphite dust here and what did I need to do here I needed to just smelt it yeah let me just smelt this up here quickly so we have the graphite and you know what I made extra I made too many graph too much graphite here um, but that's fine and then we have the five diamonds and we put that in here and that's gonna give us a hard carbon um, I've been looking to see how we can get silk touch um, Normally my, my go-to is a silky jewel. However, to for that we need either an ancient dust, a majestic ingot, or a terra steel ingot, which we have neither of. Um actually do we have any terra steel at all? We actually might have one. No no no, we have an elementium. 
yeah so we, we, we don't have that <laughs> and um, to make this stuff is pretty much that terror steel is like the highest end for um, Botania uh, the majestic ingot uh, looks like we need some next stuff <laughs> which we don't have the only way we can get so so touch is through enchantments um, and last time when I was looking through the enchantments or how to enchant the enchantment table required some compressed diamond which we didn't have however we still don't have it however we can definitely make the um, enrichment chamber all right so we have the hard carbon alloy completed here we get uh, two refined alloys or oh, sorry reinforced alloys which is nice for mechanism I'll take that for sure the next thing he wants us to make is the extreme alloy Oof. Uh, okay, okay, that's not too bad. It's just some hard carbon and some tough alloy. He wants us to make four of those. We can definitely do that. Uh, let me take four of those, four of you, and get that going there. And then with the extreme alloy, um, we get some nice rewards. I think we got some intermediate essence. So I don't know what this ingot is, <laughs> I don't even know what the extreme alloy is either. Um, but yeah, over here wants us to make some lead platinum alloy. Ten of those. So that is one platinum, three lead makes four. Uh, how much lead do we have? Do we even have any? We have one. Sorry, not lead. We have lead. I meant the platinum. We have one platinum. I think we have a couple of platinum blocks here. Um, what's the best way to to do this? <laughs> Pulverize gives us a chance of iridium. Can we make that? Signalum, microchip, petrothium. We have that. This basalt powder we don't have. Okay, so we can't get that. I haven't seen those. Um, but I could just pulverize this. It gives us some iridium chance as well. And we got the extreme alloys here. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Getting lots of alloys today, guys. All right, so we got the 10 platinum, uh, and then this along with some, I think it was some lead, was it? I might have to smelt it up first. All right, so I believe it is lead and platinum makes the platinum alloy or whatever it was. Um, I think one and three makes four. So we just need three crafts of these. All right, so here we should have the last bit of lead platinum alloy. There we go. And that should give us this, this next quest here. And we get some air poison arrows, some platinum ingots and some enderium ingots as well. Um, can I put anything away here? Okay, I'm gonna put some arrows in here for now. Put you in there. Pick you up. Uh, let me open this bag. A powder donut. I'll take it. Legendary loot bag. Oh, we get a terror steel. I was just mentioning that we needed this for a silky touch or the silky jewel. Yeah, the silky jewel. Um, huh, now, is that the best thing, the, the best use for it? I'm not too sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Terra steel, terra steel. What's the best use of one terra steel? <laughs> I guess that might be a good a good one, right? Because everything else requires multiple terra steel, which we clearly don't have. Um, that that might be where it goes towards. That just might be where it goes towards, to be honest. Uh, but that's actually a good a good reward. I I agree with that. That is legendary. That is legendary. All right. 
Let me eat this donut. And let's see what the next quest is in Dirium. Perfect. We were actually just talking about this. I was just reading this hint here. Um, so it looks like we need to make 64 in Dirium ingots here. And we actually get uh, the end portal. And it was telling us that we actually do it whenever we place down the end portal. We have to make sure we're inside the ring. Um, else it won't activate. So that's, uh, I think I, I knew about that from somewhere else as well. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. Now, Enderium, I think is easy to make. We just need platinum, which is a bit of a, of a struggle to get here. Uh, if you go over to the alloys. Yeah, the platinum, lead, and ender makes one. So... Yeah, we don't have 64 platinum, so I don't think we can make this just yet. But uh yeah, that that that's good. We got to the end of the line there. Put this stuff away. We got lots of alloys going today. Uh let me grab these two bags here. Dead bush, nothing good. Uh yeah, nothing good. Uh, we got a compass. I don't think we need it for anything, but we'll put that away here. Um. So yeah, so the next thing I guess would be the dilithium, and for this we need silk touch, and we gotta go find it underground in the deserts or the oceans. Um. I'm kind of debating if I should, if I should use the the terra steel ingot here. Or if I should just make the uh, the enrichment chamber. Because this is pretty easy to make actually. Yeah, we get the compressed diamonds with the enrichment chamber. And then with the compressed diamond, we can make the, the enchantment table. And that's, oh man, it's a whole process. <laughs> I realized that uh, I actually have a few the lithium crystals here three of them exactly um i'm gonna guess i may have gotten them from like a uh a chest or something um because i think you can get them from chests let me see here let me just double check yeah dungeon chest over here so i must have gotten a few here um so that's three of them and if we look at the quest book here i just completed the graphite one um i just had to uh, get a few more dust. I think earlier we only did 16 or something like that. Uh, and here it gives us two more crystals here. So I think to get this quest here, we only need four ingots. And to get the ingots with the crystals, I think it's just two. Um, okay, so it, it's so two makes two. So it's we just need four four crystals pretty much. And that will make us four di dilithium ingots. So yeah, it looks like we can actually do that without having to go, um, and go like exploring and stuff and looking for them. I was actually getting ready to to craft a hammer here. Uh, now I'm not too sure if I'm gonna do this just yet now, just because. Um, well, I guess you know what. I guess I can do it. Uh, cause it, this is a pretty fast hammer here. I'll show you. Um. Because it has the Electrum, which it does shocking. And it pretty much increases the speed significantly um, for a little while. So let, let me go show you guys how fast this is. Alright, so I'm just at the uh, at the little cave right beside the base here. Um, but you see the first couple are slow, but then it just speeds up significantly. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to use that and I was going to put the silk touch on it, um, the silky jewel. But since we already have some dilithium here, uh, I think I'm going to hold off on that and maybe I'll get some silk touch another way. All right. So we have the dilithium ingots now and that should complete the quest. There we go. Um, and that's going to give us a, f a couple more crystals, which is nice. And some lumium cell, molten lunium. Okay. And now we want to go and get some Triberium. What I find interesting here is it says that it's needed to 
create um the duranite mining level i don't know if they're saying that that's the, the highest mining level maybe because i'm pretty sure cobalt is is next but uh we'll, we'll see how this goes so we want to make we want to craft this with i think the um tiberium here which is the other crystals let me go grab them here i have quite a bit of them okay so we have two options on of making the tiberium here um we can use the tiberium and basalt or the tiberium and the dilithium um i'm gonna opt for the basalt because we are limited on the dilithium that we have and i think this is actually used specifically for other stuff yeah at least a couple things so i'm gonna hold off on that i'm just gonna keep this here and i can just grab some basalt and turn that into the basalt ingots um let's see here basalt ingots i can use the essence directly i don't think i have enough essence yet but uh let's see here we, we can make some basalt dust and that can be done by crushing basalt i think all right so i think i have enough basalt essence now i have to make a couple more seeds just to speed up the process here um but i think that should be enough and i should have enough tiberium going i think that should be done as well here yes yeah, so we have 50 tiberium and if i do the essence like this i think it was no there we go like this i needed i think 40 of these so we have 54 um and then if we put that into the induction smelter this should start making the triberium i think it's called all right so we have the 10 triberium here for the quest and that should unlock next quest here we get two more and it wants us to make aluminum and it wants us to make 20 aluminum uh so to make aluminum we need the triberium and then mix that up with the uh what was it called here this guy right here the shibi guy <laughs> Um, so I think it was just one in one, maybe? We'll see here. I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna work. I might have to make a little bit more Triberium. Alright, yeah, there we go. So it takes two Triberium and one of the Shibuchi. Um, and it makes three. So I might have to make a bit more of the Triberium here just because I need 20 aluminum for the quest. Alright, so I just made the last two Triberium that we needed here. Um, and that's going to give us 21 aluminum. We need 20 for the quest. So let's get that done here. And then from here we can finally get, I believe, the al Alumite, right? Um, so it gives us four more aluminum as well. And it gives us some white magic essence. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so we got the aluminum. Now for the uh, alumite, what do we need here? We need 12. Wow, okay. Uh, so it's obsidian, two iron ingots, and five aluminum make three alumite so yeah so it looks like we need 12 of them in total and that if that makes three al alumite we have to do this at least four times so we need the 20 al um, aluminum that we have here actually i should probably just make this all nah i'll keep some so what was it it was obsidian two ingots and five of that so that would be eight of you guys 
in four. Where is my blocks? Right here. Four obsidian blocks into the smeltery. I think that's the only place we can make it, right? Yeah, because it's a, it's a triple alloy here. So that should be all that should be all that we need. And this should make the alumite. So we have the 12 alumite blocks that we need. Sorry, the 12 alumite ingots that we need. And that will pretty much get us to the cobalt mining level. Um, and of course, next thing it wants us to make is the pickaxe head. And I'll probably use that onto the obsidian pickaxe head here. Um, just because why not? We need six of those. All right, so we have the alumite pickaxe head now. And let's go put it onto our pickaxe here. Uh, oh, I think it's just right here, right? There we go. So it's going to increase the durability by a lot. <laughs> the mining level to cobalt and the, I guess, the attack speed. It gives us this global traveler. That's pretty cool. But there we go. We have the alumite pickaxe and we can go ahead and mine some cobalt and I think a couple other things too. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, I think we made some pretty good progress with the, um, with the alloys over here. We got up to the cobalt mining level, which we definitely need for some cobalt and looks like some meteorite and probably some other stuff. Um, actually, I'm hoping that's what we need for the Carmen sign which will allow us to make the storage tablet. I believe that's the only thing that we're kind of missing from, from uh, these crafts over here. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave the like button. That helps me out a lot. Um, and, you know, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. That also helps me out. If uh, any suggestions or, or anything, leave a comment as well. I always read them. I always reply to them if I can. And uh, yeah. Um, I am probably going to be live streaming this at some point between episodes just to probably go mining, um, get some cobalt and stuff ready. Um, I'll probably see what I can do in terms of how to route out the storage system. But uh, that's going to be it for now, guys. And uh, I probably won't see you guys until next year um, because it is the 31st now. I was planning to send, to send this out on the 30th, but... Uh, time got got ahead of me and it is the 31st <laughs> but anyways guys happy new year and uh see you next time